In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to take multiple videos and place them on the screen so that they look like pages in a book. And then in the follow-up tutorial, we'd like to show you how to make it look as though you're actually flipping the pages left to right using the live videos. Let's give you a short example of a somewhat finished product and then we'll show you the techniques beginning with this lesson. First thing we need, obviously, is a book. I'm going to go to my PIP objects, my video overlay room, or I can press the F5 key. Now I have a subset here called custom, and in the custom I have this object here that I downloaded from the PowerDirector website. So if you subscribe and you have access to the website, you can get this very same object. It's called Frames 8908. It's one of many similar ones you can find there. I'm going to take this and drag it down on a high track, track 12 in this case. I've got plenty of tracks to experiment with in this exercise. And so now I have my book. And the area that's black is the area that basically has, as it were, a hole in it. Anything I put on a higher track will peek through that. So let's go to our media room. I'm going to click the top icon and that will show what I have populated in my media room. I'll take this video of a surfer and drag it down on a higher track. Let's do track 9. And when I play the video, I see that the video is playing as though it were the entire book. That's not too bad, but one thing I want to do is play it on one side of the book, not the whole thing. How do I change that? Well, we'll stop it and I'll click back on my video and I'll double click to get into my PIP Designer. Now in my PIP Designer I need to change the size of, the, of this image. So I'm going to take the video and take a corner and drag down and you can see the book in the background. I'm going to rotate this so it's parallel roughly to the layout of the book on the screen. It would be something like that. And now what I want to do is make this fit one side only. I'm going to click on the Zoom Out button in the upper right corner above the preview screen. Makes it a little bit easier to see. And I want basically the center of the video to be playing on the page. So I will enlarge it in both directions. Make sure I cover the black. It can be larger, but it can't be smaller to fit. And then I'm going to click on these four little corners. Now when I click on the blue area, notice I have an arrow and a very small four-headed arrow. That means I'm going to impact just the corner and we're going to scale this. I'll make one over here. We'll go to the lower right. And sometimes moving these is going to cause an issue, so you have to be a little bit experimental. I'm going to try to get it right at what I think the seam of the book is. But I have to be up high enough to get this hump here included. So we'll go about like that. And that looks pretty close right there on the right side. Now we're going to take the left side. And we'll skew it. And pull it back in. Make sure we've got everything covered. I have to go down a little bit. This takes just a little experimenting on your part. Looks like I'm close to the binding part, and there we go. Now I'm going to click on OK. And now if I play the video, it looks like it's playing only on the left side. And I've got the center of it. Not bad. Let's look at the right side. How do we do that? Well. I'll take another video. Let's take the waterfall here. And I'll cover the same time span. Double click on that one. And that gets me into the PIP Designer. We're going to make it smaller as well. 
We're going to reorient it so that it's parallel to the book. And again, we'll zoom out so we can see what we're doing. Make sure it's got the width covered of the black area. We want to center it. And then we'll pull in the left side. And then the lower left. And then we'll do the same with the right side. Now, if you need to move this around the screen, you can always click on the hand and move the whole area down. But then you have to click on the selection mode again to be able to grab these little blue squares at the four corners of your image. OK. I want to get close because I want the proportions to look right. But I don't have to be perfect. And that looks pretty good, so I'll click on OK. And now if we go back and play our movie from the beginning, we'll watch as, let's enlarge it, we'll watch as both videos play side by side on two different pages, as it were, of the same book. And so in the next tutorial, we'd like to show you how to approximate the flipping of a page when it comes to one video and another.